The imperial system sometimes uses multiple units to represent a measurement. For example, a new baby might weigh 7 pounds and 4 ounces. Fractions are also commonly used with the imperial system. For example, a length can be stated as 5 and a half inches. Both using multiple units and using fractions can make calculations more complicated. Let's look at an example that uses both multiple units and fractions. Darwin needs two pieces of plastic border edging for a garden that is in the corner of his yard. If one side of the garden is 12 feet 7 and 5 eighths inches, and the other is 5 feet 9 and 3 quarters inches, how much border edging is required? Aside from the numbers used, this is a fairly straightforward addition problem. The difficulty arises when adding two values that are more complex than those you have seen previously. This video demonstrates two methods for adding these numbers. The first method involves adding the feet separately from the inches. When adding different units separately, start with the smallest unit, inches in this case. The first measurement includes 7 and 5 eighths inches. The second measurement includes 9 and 3 quarters inches. There are different strategies for adding mixed numbers. One method is to convert all the numbers to improper fractions. This is the strategy we use here. Recall that you can multiply the whole number by the denominator and add the numerator to determine the new numerator of the improper fraction. 7 times 8 plus 5 is 61, so the first improper fraction is 61 eighths. 9 times 4 plus 3 is 39, so the second improper fraction is 39 fourths. Before adding these values, the two denominators must be made the same. The lowest common denominator of these improper fractions is 8. The second fraction can be multiplied by 2 divided by 2 to make both denominators the same. Now that both denominators are the same, we can add the numerators. So altogether there are 139 eighths inches. This can be simplified to 17 and 3 eighths inches by dividing 139 by 8 to get 17 and 3 eighths inches. This measurement is larger than 12 inches or 1 foot. We can replace 12 inches with 1 foot. The total measurement is now 1 foot 5 and 3 eighths inches. Now that we've added the inches, we'll add the feet measurements to get our total. The first measurement included 12 feet, the second measurement included 5 feet, and we have 1 foot 5 and 3 eighths inches from our previous calculation. Adding these together gives 18 feet 5 and 3 eighths inches. So Darwin needs a total of 18 feet 5 and 3 eighths inches of border edging. A second strategy for adding values that include multiple units is to convert every measurement to a single common unit. 12 feet can be converted to inches by multiplying by 12 inches per foot. The foot units reduce and leave us with the equivalent 144 inches. Add this to the remaining part of the measurement, 7 and 5 eighths inches. So 12 feet 7 and 5 eighths inches is equal to 151 and 5 eighths inches. Similarly, 5 feet is equal to 60 inches. Add this to the remaining part of the measurement, 9 and 3 quarters inches. 5 feet 9 and 3 quarters inches is equal to 69 and 3 quarters inches. Now that both measurements are represented using inches, we can add them. As in the earlier example, 3 quarters can be converted to 6 eighths by finding the lowest common denominator of 8. Adding these values gives 220 and 11 eighths inches. We can remove the improper fraction by subtracting 8 eighths and adding 1 inch to the measurement. 221 and 3 eighths inches of plastic border edging is required. 